Alright, I am not even shitting you guys when I say I have... As about now, it's probably about a quarter to three. I have to head out at 4.30, so I have less than an hour to render and upload this thing. So let's go ahead and get it started. Um, this was one of the stream battles I took at... Well, shit, my stream. Uh, it was versus Chase, Chase McAwesome, the guy who made my intro. So, it was an any match. Generally, the matches at my stream tend to be a little bit more low-key. So, if I make, like, really stupid, obvious mistakes or plays that I shouldn't have made, you know. I'm not saying I played bad. I I was just not prepared for the type of team he had. So, let's go ahead and get that play back right about now. Um, as you can see, the stuff is generally of a slower variety. I didn't know what type of team he had, especially because he let off with an Exeggutor. Now, when you see Exeggutor, you normally think, um, you can think Sunny Day or you can think Trick Room. So, uh, I guess, I, I don't pack Taunt on this thing, I guess I was bluffing Taunt with Persian, but this is actually a sub-nasty plus set. I was like, I don't, I don't really use it that often. You know, for funsies, for funsies, we'll try it out. And I go for the nasty plot and I get Reedy. He, he does get the minus two special attack drop and I'm like maybe 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 now nah, what the hell am I thinking you know if if he's gonna take me out that's whatever I need a safe switch but he goes for explosion instead and I'm like I'm okay with that you know this Persian was really just a for shits thing but unfortunately since he does have a trick room team he's gonna have a lot of heavy hitters that are really slow such as this octillery with water spout so all I can really do is just, uh, you know, just send stuff in, and that critical hit was really salt in the wound, but what else can you say? So, I go to Dragonair to bluff, because uh, I know he's going to pack Ice Beam, so I go to my Fire type to take said Ice Beam, and all I can really do is try to stall out Trick Room, because he exploded with his, his uh, Exeggutor. Thankfully, I did stall it out, and I go for the Hypnosis to put it to sleep so I can start setting up and start getting my momentum back once again. So I get the Nasty Plot in, which, you know, is all good to go. And he's asleep. I just go for the energy ball for the kill. Now, not knowing he has a Porygon 2 on his team, I probably would have started setting up a little bit more. Because when the Porygon 2 comes in, it's going to trace, uh... It's going to trace Flash Fire. So I can't use my stab on it. So I have to use energy ball. Porygon 2 is kind of bulky. And I might be getting a little bit ahead of myself. But right there where I went for Flamethrower... I should have started plotting up because now he brings this thing and I realize I can't start setting up. So all just just to be a dick I guess, I really don't have much of another choice than to put it to sleep and start setting up to plus six or as close as I can get. Uh, but unfortunately he does get the first turn rate, goes for the trick room and I totally forgot they pack it so that was a bit of a mistake on my part. Uh, he gets his T-Bolt off but because I'm Nine Tails and I have a decent-ish special defense. I'm able to live one of those. I don't have any weird. I don't have any means of recovery. This thing packs lum, but I think I actually might be able to live the next thunderbolt. You know, with min or max damage, I was willing to gamble on it if I were to get minimum, and I did get minimum, which is that's pretty sweet. I got bare minimum, I'm guessing, but I go for the energy ball and I do take him out. So the numbers were in my favor that time, but they have to be in my favor because. He, he has Trick Room set up. What, what am I going to do? So, uh, he does take me out with Earthquake. Now, in order to bluff it as well, since he's running out of Trick Room as well, I go to my Electabuzz to bluff that I don't have anything else that can take his hit. So, he goes for Earthquake, and uh, it misses. Trick Room wears off once again, and my reward for, you know, playing that actually rather well is a Focus Blast miss. So, more Salt in the Wound, which is exactly what I wanted. But because the recoil on Head Smash, and it is four times effective, it is going to take me out. The recoil actually is rather nice. I really wanted that Focus Blast to hit. I felt slapped in the face, to say the least, because, you know, I had a good play going, and it got botched up. But that's the game. I can't always have good luck like I've been having in my past couple matches. So I go for the Earthquake. It thankfully does take it out because Rampart is, is uh, defense isn't exactly anything to write home about. And he goes to this uh, Reggie guy. I guess thankfully Trick Room is not up, otherwise he'd be outspeeding me for sure, probably hitting me with Earthquake. I figure the best thing I can do is go for T Bolt. I do get the Para Hacks, and he gets the first turn paralysis, which is sweet. Because I know these things, I, at least I think these things pack Earthquake. I'm pretty sure he kills me with one next turn. That's what I would assume off the top of my head, because I haven't seen this video in a little bit. So I go for another T Bolt, and he actually goes for a turn, uh, just in case I had another flying type, I guess. 
But either way, uh, despite his attack being halved, it still is overkill. Uh, definitely enough to take me out because Electabuzz's defense isn't exactly hot shit either. So I go to my Dragonair right here to try to set up while he's paralyzed. And I didn't know that they got Ice Punch. So I was like, are you fucking serious right now? You, you've got to be shitting me. And he gets a freeze, which is like, come on. I know I have Shed Skin and it would have kicked in right there. And I'm like, I'm frozen. This is my last one. Are you kidding me? And I get thought, I'm like, fuck yeah, let's go for the, the plus one outrage. And we'll, uh, we'll take him out, I guess. Except for the fact that I don't. He lives with a little bit. The, the fact that I got frozen last turn really was a slap in the face because I would have taken him out. And I'm like, damn it, dude, I could have won. And then he tells me he had a Reggie seal. I'm like, oh, well, I couldn't really have won. Just kidding. But, you know, it was a really good game despite the, uh, the trick room. It was relatively hacks free aside from my focus blast miss but that's the game i still had i still had a good time and uh like i said i do have more matches coming up uh tomorrow and just you know for the rest of the week i lined it up perfectly so i have battles from now until saturday so proud to keep you guys entertained i guess stay tuned